Hey guys, so we are back here for week three of Candy and Z. Can y'all believe it? Cause I sure can. Cause yeah, this is something new. All right. But anyways, so this week's topic is age difference. Yeah. All right. So I'm not gonna start first. I feel like. <laughs> She has another story for us. I do have a few stories. A few? A, a few, yes. A few. A few. So not just one or two, <laughs> but a few. A few, yes. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see. So it is too old for you. Um, For me too old is i say over well i'm 27 well 26 about to be 27 mm -hmm. so i'll say about mm, i'll give about seven to ten years mm -hmm. so seven to ten years that's good enough for me over ten years i don't think i can do I like you reaching grandpa stage then yeah, because that's knocking on 40, just like I'm knocking on 30. Okay, so what if you were <laughs> younger than 27, what would be too old or? See, if I was younger, um, it probably would have been five years. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a little difference, but yeah. Well, me, I've oh, always God. talked to people older than me. When I was 15, I was talking to somebody that was 19. When <laughs> when I was 17, I was talking to somebody that I think he was like 32. God dang. Huh, no, when I was 19, I was talking to somebody that was like 34. <laughs> but, but let me tell you about... Oh, now she want to clean it up. Okay, okay. So anyways, when I was 17, I was very independent. I was a government contractor, had my own car, own place, own okay. money. Okay. Right. So why the hell would I want to talk to somebody that was 17? Doing a big ass 17. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I was at work. This dude comes in. He looked like Trick Daddy. Like Trick Daddy back in the day, not Trick Daddy now. I was trying to say, that's a hot damn mess. Now, I don't know about that. So I was intrigued by like the thug talk and the deep voice. So, anyways, we went out to eat, right? Mm hmm. We had this. Tahoe with rims. He had all this expensive. Okay, jewelry. rims was back. They were they were the, the day, stuff profit. back in the day. You know, you know he had all the jewelry and shit. You know. Oh, okay. A girl was like in love. Oh, you like that thug life? I used to like the thug life. <laughs> <laughs> the thug life. You know me. I'm young, and the end is I work with all these women. And he wanted to talk to me, so I was like, mm hmm. Oh, okay. And all the other women, they was grown when they was hating, whatever. Oh, but guess what? So the young Thundercat comes into the office and take over all of them. But I can only talk to one because that one was crazy. So anyways, I told him I was 18 when I was 17. Okay. Already starting off with lies. So everything was good. <laughs> we went on our little dates or whatever. We was cool. We was vibing. Then he had to get surgery. So... You know me, nice me. I felt like, oh, maybe one day I'll get off of work. He lived in Richmond, by the way. We was in Virginia Jeez. Beach. But the job was in Virginia Beach because they like send him out to ships or whatever. Okay. So I drove all the way to Richmond after work to go see him in the hospital. When, <laughs> when I walk in the room, and there was a, uh, another lady there, a female. <laughs> So he's like awake and he's like, hey, like he was real shocked that I came, but not like scared. So I'm like, oh, we can go outside. You know, I have my current spouse with me. And I was like, oh, we can go outside. We can go ahead and leave. So me and her go in the hallway and we're like dying laughing because I'm like, oh, he got a whole bitch. So she comes out in the hallway, starts asking me questions. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, how do you know him? How do you guys know that like we met at work? Well, how long y'all been talking? Not long. So she goes back in the room, I guess, to fuss him out while he's, like, sedated in and out. 
<laughs> and we haul ass out of here because I'm like, I'm not about to sit here and fight no grown ass woman. So we just left. So anyways, he called me a few days later and I was like, oh, who was that? And he was like, oh, I helped her take care of her kids. We used to be together, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, he had lives. I had lives. It all worked out. Our lives just worked together. <sighs> Oh God! Anyways, I left him. I left him alone. Or the way I thought left him alone. Then he starts stalking me. <laughs> he starts stalking. Like he knew oh. where I lived. He came to my house. I had my sisters over the house. I had my cousins over the house. He comes like blowing up my phone. That's when I had a sidekick, and that shit just kept going off, going off, going off. Going off. <laughs> oh, it flew. Like shoot! I had all the ladies' and greatest phones. Yes. So Shoot. one night that Jake just kept going off and it was him. He would not stop fucking calling my phone. Mm. And I'm like in the house because I'm scared because I'm like, he probably gonna roll up on me. Why this nigga roll up on me? At the door of the apartment. I been waiting for you at the door. <laughs> he was banging on the door. And he called me like Candy or Candy May. This nigga was at the door like saying that shit. Like banging hard. He pissed my neighbor off. Neighbor outside. He's arguing with the neighbor. Mind you, he carries a gun and he's crazy. So I'm like, well, let me go to the fucking door. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to add that he was selling drugs. Even though he had a legit six-figure job. I should have changed this word out for some alcohol or some wine. <laughs> Child. Anyways, I finally open the door. He comes in the house and he's like waving and being cool to everybody. Like he ain't just act fucking crazy outside. Like I don't know what the fuck was wrong with him. I mean, I thought I was crazy. That motherfucker was crazy. So you had a bipolar yes. thug nigga. Yes. Okay. They didn't really give two fucks about me, but I guess I was a trophy. No oh, trophy girlfriend. Trophy girlfriend. So anyway, we were we were off and on for a long time. Then I officially turned 18 and I hadn't seen him in a while. And he called me like one o'clock in the morning and I came outside. We sitting outside in his truck. And he, I don't even know how the fuck the conversation came up. But anyways, he asked, it was about my birthday or something. Mm -hmm. He asked me how old I turned. I was like 18, cause like now I'm 18. So we can be honest with each other, right? <laughs> he pulled out a gun on me. Wait, what? Yes, he pulled out his gun on me and put it to my head and was like, oh, so what you were trying to do is fuck my whole life up. So me, I'm scared So what shit. you're trying to do right now is kill of me. your whole life up by, by killing. Kill okay, that's what we do. And I'm okay. like, I'm not even that type of chick. Like, I knew what the hell I was getting myself into. I didn't give a damn what age. And it's not like I was a hoe, but like, I've always been attracted to older people. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you know, I couldn't help it. And how so, older was he? He was 14 years older. Okay. But I just liked him. Just baby, because I'm a thug, like trick daddy. Like, I just. <laughs> nah, maybe. <laughs> nah, I ain't going to say what's on But his sex was trash. I ain't going to say what's on my brain. We only had sex one time, and he said he felt like he was raping me. You wanna know why? Because I wasn't into it. He was the one that kept falling out. Like it just didn't connect. That's why he was so thuggish and gangster, cause his, his dick game was whack. <sighs> so anyways, I'm gonna I just start, have to lead this right here, okay? <laughs> I start crying with the gun in my head, and this nigga starts laughing. And I guess he just like took the whole gun apart, and he was like, "Oh, you thought I was really gonna shoot you? Well, you put a whole fucking gun to my head." Fuck yeah, I thought you was going to shoot me. So I get out of his truck. I go to my door because I'm like so upset right now. And then he's coming to the door apologizing. No, don't talk to me. Lose my number. <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. So what? It was a while that we didn't talk, but he was still hitting me up. Anyways, fast forward. I'm still working at the job. Another one of them came through. So I started talking to him. And how old was he? He was 16 years older than me. God! <laughs> but see, I was legal at this time. I was 18, you know, about to be 19. But then, I guess... <laughs> Yo, you didn't cry 
<laughs> Him and Trick Daddy got on the same ship together. He started running his mouth. Trick Daddy found out, and that was it. They on the ship, like scrapping with each other, talking shit back and All forth. All over Me. this high yellow girl. <laughs> so I start getting phone calls from the thug. Asking me what the fuck's going on, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, nothing. Nothing's going on. Like, we're not together. Me and him aren't together. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, why y'all on the shit beefing over me? Yo, they must really want it. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to be cocky in that bitch, you Be so snatching and shit. But anyways. Wait, you put it down another one, too? <laughs> instant karma because the everybody was fucking lying to me the other one he told me that he was taking care of his nieces this nigga had two kids they were both his daughters talking about they were his nieces and he was fucking married <laughs> married oh shoot you a side piece to one and then a trophy to the other i'm done i'm dead just kill me now okay oh man you don't have any stories? Nah, I mean, I have none. Compared to hers, none. All of mine relationships, people I've talked to have only been like no more than two and a half years older than me. One was a year younger than me, but <laughs> it ain't been. Okay, so I have one that was a year younger than me. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, finally somebody okay. younger than you. Okay, but guess who it was? My ex husband. And you see that didn't that last about two weeks. <laughs> and I was fucking his ass up every fucking day. And I'm actually proud of that, and that's terrible. <laughs> and you want somebody your age and just expect to get fifty to sixty dollars every two weeks. First first of all. <laughs> Everybody. I hate light skin. Ugh. <laughs> I, I'm light skin. I hate light skin. I'm I like sorry, chocolates. guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I tried. I tried to redeem myself. 15, talking to somebody that was 19. And then, that's yeah. not bad. Four years difference, that's not it bad. It is because I'm illegal as fuck. But still, I mean, you have a lot of people out here that's 15 talking to somebody that's 19. When you're 19, you basically just got out of high school. So, exactly. But see, I would have lied about my age regardless. Because if I would have told anybody my age, they wouldn't have fucking talked to me or gave me a chance. So but when I had did you a, tell him how old was... I don't think I told him how old I was until after we had sex. But I wasn't that type of girl that was gonna call the police. Like I was, I knew what the fuck I was doing, and I was a grown ass. I had grown ass woman body. Everything Fast. made my butts a little bit. Fast. My butt wasn't that big. Fast. Fast ass. Fast. Thought. Jesus. But I tried yeah. to redeem myself when I married somebody a year younger than me. And he was a bum. See, that's why I couldn't. Redeeming yourself from 16 years difference from 14 years difference. Okay, the five year difference wasn't that bad. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Not at all. <laughs> and now at my age, I would probably go to like 10 years. That'd be the most. Older? Yeah. I was about to say younger. As long as you can still do what That's you got to do, we baby. good. I thought you were talking about young. Oh, I was about no. to say, <laughs> That's a baby. That's a date of my kids. Fuck no. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. One day you'll be like me. <laughs> maybe in your next life. Yeah, maybe in my next life. Because right now, i trying to tell you, only 10 years. 10 years. Watch. Even your next, if you're your pushing. Your next one will be 11. Watch. You, <laughs> you, are, you a whole sugar daddy. Sugar daddy pay all your bills. She think that stuff is funny. Watch. I was about to say something else. But you have a sugar daddy. Or you gonna be a cougar. 
that won't happen. <laughs> No, no, what no. What if he gets you somebody 19? Like, he got his, all his shit together. No. Why not? Candace. <laughs> What's the problem? Why not? Like, he come up to you, he must clean. be drunk. Got his something. shit together. No. He ain't got no kids, mm -hmm. no nothing. Nope. No. Why? 19. No. no. Why? But why no? You're a baby in my 19? Yeah. No. He might put it down. Your ass ain't gonna wanna fall asleep. You're gonna no. wanna have sex everywhere. I'm telling you. That's what you need. That's like Because you no. got like a grandma right that's now. That's eleven years no. No. That is not for me. I can't I wouldn't. Okay, what do. if you find a forty five year old? You don't know he's forty five. Because he don't look forty five because this generation, the thirties and forties, they don't yeah, they look be that awesome. age. Yeah. But like, be oh, you forty? Some forever type of water. I don't know. Shit, I be looking older than them. <laughs> I go in the store with my wife now. Oh, I was in the jewelry store with my wife and one of the boys. The lady at the jewelry store will say, oh, these are the only two you got. Bitch, what? <laughs> How fucking old do you think I am? These are the only two you got. Fuck I'm you, the only brother. two you have. Oh, oh, shit. Huh? It's not funny. Huh? <laughs> that shit is not funny. The only two you got, bitch. That is funny, man. Yeah, every time That's I see funny. her in the jewelry store, I just want to smack her. That's funny. Well, it's funny because, yo, okay. <laughs> so she took me to go get my first Brazilian wax last year. Yeah, for your birthday. Yeah, last year for my birthday. <laughs> we went to. European wax, and uh, so we walked in, whatever. And I had asked if she could come back with me, whatever. The lady was like, Yeah, and then so they called me, they called me back, or whatever. And I'm like, Okay, so it's cool for my cousin to come back, right? And the lady was like, Oh, I thought that was your mom. <laughs> Like, I guess I look old. I'll take that. See, that's why I was dating people older than me. I had them, you know, in a trance. They thought I was a grown woman. But Period. it's crazy because, like... I don't think I look that old. But maybe I do. But the crazy thing is, my mother is older than her. And people think my mother is my sister. Like, this... <laughs> it's because I'm half white. Tell you. This <laughs> age stuff. <laughs> and society is something else, okay? But um, but yeah, guys. I, me personally, I can't go above ten years. Like literally, ten years is pushing it. Cause right now you're knocking on forty. Yeah. And you knocking on thirty. Okay, but I can't. And you act like an old lady. Sometimes you dress like an old lady. You sleepy and tired like an old lady. Okay. So you could. Just because I can't be up until 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning don't mean nothing. And just because you can't stay up for sex don't mean nothing either, right? <laughs> you want to smack me, but you can't. <laughs> you want to say something I can smart, stand, but you I can, can stay up for it if I really want to. It depends on if it's good. Well, I hope it's good if you're married to it. <laughs> <laughs> married the wrong day you can't stay up <laughs> see right now me being single is something different okay but um being married to it i'll be able to stay up for it okay. i mean guys i'm single of course you can sleep now you exactly <laughs> Go sleep. You would rather for me to go to sleep now than... Oh, why? You will catch up on your sleep? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you catch up on my sleep before I get some dick like five years from now. Shut up. I'm just saying, you know. You gotta have that beauty sleep right now. <laughs> just chunk on your water. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all let us know down in the comment section. What is your opinion on 
age difference when it comes to relationships. What's too young and what's too old. Yeah, I mean, like I said, 10 years, that's pushing it. I don't think now I can go younger. I may go, I may be able to go like a year. It just depends on their maturity level. Yeah. So I was very mature for my age. I was grown, but I was very mature. As you can see, pulling somebody 16 years older than her, but we ain't going to. That wasn't my fault. I wasn't, I wasn't fishing for them. They was fishing for me. I just bit off the hook. Yeah, they wanted that young tenderoni. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Anyways, guys, like I said, just comment down in the section below. Let us know your opinions on age difference, what's too old, what's too young, if you can handle it or you like somebody your actual age, whatever. But anyways, see you next time. Peace.